Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it may be for you. Um, my name is Thomas. I am the owner of Epitome of Excellence Designs and Decor. And this is just going to be an unboxing video. It is really early in the morning. It's a Saturday morning. Shame on me. Because I have never, I don't think, with the exception of doing a surprise event for somebody who called me the day of, have never been this unprepared. I have not done my napkins and I need to write it on my to-do list. I have not done my napkins. I still have my pictures and my poster board at Walgreens that I have not picked up. I still have the baby name blocks that I have not made. And the event is tomorrow. I still have two centerpieces I need to make, probably five centerpieces, because I made two yesterday. And it's some stuff that's still in boxes. I don't know what happened. I just am unprepared. I have not been using my time wisely in the evenings. That's really what it is. It's not like I've had the time, but I haven't been using it wisely. Um, Y'all might hear my kids in the background because they're here. And again, it's Saturday. So I just wanna show y'all some stuff that I, I purchased. Um, this stuff is gonna come from CV Linen, Amazon, Ross, and I don't think the Dollar Tree, Walmart, um, I didn't do TJ Maxx this time because I didn't really go on a scavenge for that. So I just want to show y'all a few things. And then I may show y'all me setting up a backdrop this evening. I'm not sure because that's for my mom in law I don't know how I'm feeling as far as time. So I want to play. I want to make sure I'm using my time wiser. And then I want to use it wiser. I thought I waited until the last minute. So let me show you a few things. So the first thing I want to show you is this vase. It's a pretty nice size vase, and it just screams Valentine's Day. And um, just to give some context, I'm setting up for a Little Sweetheart is on the way baby shower. Um, that event is tomorrow. Y'all probably see the footage for that video in the next video next week. But I'm setting up for that, and I picked up a couple of things right before Valentine's Day, and I've been just trying to wait out. Valentine's Day passing to catch some sales. That was probably not the best idea because I didn't find much, but I still had enough of what I needed to get the point across for the event. So that's what I'm setting up for. So you'll see a lot of reds, pinks, and whites, and then maybe some golds and stuff. So this vase was only $13. I got it from Ross, so it's $12.99. And I think it's a pretty nice size vase. I'm gonna make a centerpiece coming out of it. I wanna do something different with my centerpieces, but this is not the time for me to try to be experimenting. So it'll probably be the same hydrangeas, ponies, um, fillers, just to give it a nice full look. Excuse me, this is probably gonna be on the head table. Y'all, I haven't I haven't got my U-Haul enough. My U-Haul I'm getting later tonight, but I'm supposed to be going out for my mama's, my mama in law's uh, birthday. So I'm getting a U-Haul tonight and I'm loading up tonight. So I'm just, Flying by the seat of my pants. Um, I hope y'all can see me real good. I'm in a new spot in my house. Um, and I call myself trying to set the atmosphere. <laughs> so this is a little truck. I was looking at this truck yesterday. I was like, ooh, this means a little Seahawk is on the way. <laughs> but um, when I initially got these trucks, I said I wanted to do... I wanted to take the back off of it because the back does come off of it. I can go ahead and take it off now and do maybe a centerpiece in it, put some floor foam in it. And see how it's got the little space right here? And that wouldn't take much to put some flowers in here. So I'm thinking about doing it, but don't hold me to it because one hydrangea here will take up the space of that and put some floor foam in here and put a, 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 a centerpiece in there. What y'all think? And this one's gonna go on three tables. I have three of these. I could not find four, so with what I found, I'm gonna make do of it and um, just uh, try to kind of switch my space up a little bit. I need to get better with taking these stickers off because I know if my clients get to pull the stuff off the table, they get they see stuff like this and be like, "What in the world? Where you got where you got this from?" You know what? I just edited a part out of this video. What you see is what you see, and what you get is what you get because these kids is in this house. This is a little heart that I got from um, Ross. I got three of these. They had, uh, not that, and now that I'm looking at them, they don't look the same. These two, I thought these were the same, 
But these are gonna go on the tables with those trucks. Some little, Lord, what if I break it? And this one, these were $10.99 a piece, so $11 each. That little stuff add up quick. Cause just what I've shown y'all is three trucks. I didn't show y'all all three trucks. That was $12 each, won't it? Yeah, that was $12 each. And then that base was $13, I think. So almost at $100 with, well, not quite $100. Well, I spent $100. That stuff add up quick. So make sure you're getting your money for these events. Y'all, this is a dog toy. I got it. It's got a little, look. Let me see if that. It's a dog toy. But it's Valentine's Day. And I'm gonna be creative. I don't know where I'm putting this at. I don't know how it's gonna flow or how it's gonna sit. But I got two of these, I think. Some little hearts and stuff on them. And these were only $3.99 each. This one didn't have a tag on it for some reason, so he gave me the same price. Okay, so the stuff I just showed y'all, oh wait, hold on. I got these as well. Even if I don't use them, I'm not really knocking myself over the head, only $3.99. Just to give you context, I'm a five foot two man, and these fit in my hand, and they actually are a little bit bigger than my hand, so it just kind of gives you an idea of how big this stuff is. Because sometimes the camera does not do it justice. But if she has any treats or something that she wants to put in here, like um, the Rice Krispie Trees, cupcakes, or whatever kind of dessert she decides to use at her event tomorrow, she'll have that for her. And then this was $3.99 as well. I'm gonna put this on the treats table too. And then I have some white dessert stands that I'm gonna use um, for the event. Okay, so that takes care of all of what I got from Ross, I believe. So in Dollar Tree, it was Slim Pickens. It won't none in there. But I did find a few things, and you know it's a dollar and 25 now. So this just says Kissing Boo 25%, 25%, 25 cent a smooch, uh, pick her up, buttercup. I thought these were like neat and cute and went with the color thing with that red and that pink. So I just picked up three of these. I don't know where I'm using them at. I might not even use them, I don't know. I just had to grab something. Y'all wanna know the truth, I ain't gonna tell y'all the truth. Cause my wife listening. I ain't gonna tell y'all. I can't see it right now. Cause I need someone to lay my head. So, moving right along. I don't know if I'm gonna use these or not, but I did pick them up from um, Dollar Tree. I can't remember how many I got. I used to be a fan of Dollar Tree flowers because they had, they look realistic almost. But it seemed like when they went up on the price, the quality of it went down. Cause I used to go buy a rose looking flower at a Dollar Tree, like a bush like this. And it looked good. You see how smushed up that is? I don't know what happened. So I'm not a fan of Dollar Tree flowers anymore. I'd rather just get them from Amazon, look at how smushed that is. Amazon or from um, Walmart. Walmart got some good flowers. Michaels, stores like that. Okay. And the more I, uh, the more I'm just, feel, I'm, I'm not gonna overwhelm myself. Cause it's a lot of stuff I need to do. So I got like, Five or six bushes of those Dollar Tree flowers. These don't look too bad because I think they got some contrast to them with the different colors, but they don't look the best. Okay. So now we're moving on to Walmart. Now Walmart did have a, 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 a aisle of Valentine's Day stuff that wasn't too bad. Like I said, if y'all hear my kids, y'all just hear them. So I'm gonna use these for a larger centerpiece. I want to incorporate some candles in some way or another, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to, cause I got so much other stuff. But look at the difference on that flower. 
you see how fluffed out that looks. You see how, I ain't gonna say realistic because you can tell a synthetic flower. You see the little greenery right here and I only paid 97 cents for this. I'd rather pay 97, 97 cents for variety than to pay $1.25 for something that don't look the best. And then granted, I could put these together and still make it do what it do, you see that? But I'm not sure what I'm gonna do at this point. I am really disappointed in myself. Okay? So I got like 25 of those flowers that I just showed you right here. 97 cents a, a piece, plus tax. I also picked up some baby's breath. And I think I paid $2.97 for this. I can't quite remember. It was not expensive because when I scanned it, I said, dang, that ain't no bad price. And while I'm looking at these other centerpieces that I'm going to show y'all in a minute, I might want to stick some baby's breath down in there. But this baby's breath is not like they used to make it. It uh, sheds. So, y'all tell me this ain't the cutest thing you ever seen. Well, not ever seen, but ain't it cute? It ain't got no eyes or nothing. It remind me of the Easter bunnies that they have in the same kind of material. I don't know what kind of material it is. It doesn't tell me. It just says indoor decoration only, not a tool. The original price on these were like $5.97, I think. So with stuff being on half off after Valentine's Day, I think I only paid two, right at $2.50, a little bit under $2.50. Ain't that nice? This is nice. I got three of these red ones. I got three red ones. And then I got three pink ones. So I don't know where they going, but they going somewhere. <coughs> Y'all know I'm really not a fan of missing church tomorrow. I ain't even figured that out yet. I'm not getting the U-Haul at nine o'clock tonight. My storage closes at 10. We supposed to be going out to eat. I still have to load that up. Tomorrow morning, I'd like to get to the venue as soon as I can, which is nine o'clock. I don't know if I'll be able to. I have my kids. Got church tomorrow. It's just a lot going on. It's a lot going on. So that's the teddy bear. I'll be talking to y'all like y'all in general conversation. Um... <clears throat> I just realized this is a gale. I picked this up yesterday. I mean, I picked this up at Walmart as well. It doesn't have a, oh, it does have a price on it. $5.98, half off. And it looks like it's some kind of like backdrop. I don't know if those hearts right here come with it, but I know the balloons definitely are in here because I'm looking dead at them. So I'm thinking about utilizing the balloons for the sign that's gonna be the Little sweetheart is on the wayside. That'll be sitting up front. Uh, it's not too much, and then we're gonna we're gonna try. So if you see this, you know that I was able to pull it off. Okay, it was the last one. I said I'm gonna get that. Okay, the rest of this stuff right here is teddy bears. Okay, we plowing on through this stuff. Okay. This is fragile, handle with care. What did I order fragile? Oh, I forgot I had ordered these. Now, normally I get my dollar, my frames from Dollar Tree, but I wanted something that looked like something. <laughs> now, if they take these frames, we might have a problem. But these are some four by seven insert frames. I like it because of the embellished um, outside. It just looks uh, a little bit more elevated. I forgot I ordered these, which is why I need to go and get my Walgreens order. And when you have the frames on the tables with the, like if you do the pictures or if you do the, um, what do you call it? Like if I do like the backdrop on the table, it just helps people understand the theme. Okay. It won't much in this box. That's that's from Amazon, I'm sorry. And I think I paid like $16 for six frames. I think these, wait a minute. I know 
anyway, they have a lot of time for me to be having a breakdown. So, I got, these look like red balloons. These are my two balloon garlands right here. See, all of them colors are just going together. They kind of marrying each other. So I got to blow balloons up this evening. I'm gonna pace myself up. We're not gonna, the event is not until two o'clock tomorrow. I only got a couple more things to show y'all and then I'm gonna leave y'all alone. Bye bye. Okay. Okay, I did get some more drapes because I'm, I want to stop using my other white AK Trading Company drapes because I have to fold those and they don't um, do well with wrinkles. I have to fold them or they'll get really, really wrinkled. So I bought four spandex white drapes from CV Linen. And I bought some pink ones too. So, um... I will be using more spandex drapes than any, anything on this next event. I don't feel like I have anything else to share with y'all. Um, and then, Seeky, y'all see this. <clears throat> that vase looks really small in this video, but it's not. It's not doing it really justice, but you see that centerpiece right here? I'm gonna make this into a nice thumbnail. Or either I'm gonna pick some mess up of these, but. These are the centerpieces that I made. And you see those colors, red base. These red bases, somebody gave me these like two or three years ago because she was cleaning her closets out. And I kept them because I saw the vision in them. And I never used them, but I had them stored in my storage. And I said, I'm going to use them one day. Nobody wouldn't do red. Everybody's scared of doing colors for their events. They sticking with these new colors or these beige colors or these blushes. So I did two of these. I don't know where they're going to go, but they're going to go somewhere. I really need to to wrap this up. And I think that is it, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, this content. Sorry if it felt rushed. or sorry if I want my... <laughs> but thank y'all again for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Make sure before you leave, you hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell beside it. Make sure your notifications are turned on because we try to get some good content over here every Sunday. And I'm trying to get it to go on live, okay? I did one live video. I owe y'all some more. But we're going we're gonna to make it do what it do in 2024. If y'all have any questions, leave me in the comment section. You need links to anything. And if I can link it, I would definitely do that. Um, again, y'all stay tuned for the next video. I'll see y'all next week.